Hello we are group 3 and today we are going to talk about which method of WDS and EDS is most appropriate for powder samples based on our critical review of XRF. XRF is an analytical method to determine the chemical composition of the materials. It is fast and accurate non-destructive test. The sample irradiated by a X-ray beam causing the emission of fluorescent X-ray and detected by the detector. There are two main types of XRF instruments. WDS is mainly used for composition and defect analysis. It has extra components such as analyzing crystal, while EDS used for quick and easy analysis, and EDS is a simple setup because it has few components only. WDS measure the wavelength of the fluorescence X-rays based on the Bragg's law. It consists of X-ray tube, analyzing crystal, collimators, and detector. The X-rays that hit the crystal will diffract and enter the detector depends on the wavelength. Only X-ray of specific wavelength will enter the detector at one time. The crystal and detector will move to a new position to measure X-ray of another wavelength. In EDS, an energy dispersive detector with a multi-channel analyzer is used to collect the fluorescence radiation emitted from the sample. Different energies of the characteristic radiation from each element will be separated. Sample preparation of the powder samples can be done in three ways. Loose powdered samples can be placed into a plastic sample cup, with a plastic support film. However, powder samples preferable to be prepared by pressing samples into pellets. Thirdly, powder samples are mixed with flux with ratio 5 to 1 to 10 to 1 and heated to 900 degrees creating fused beads. Even though EDS and WDS are both done using XRF, they do have a lot of difference in common. Example of case study quantitative analysis of elements in polyamide with wavelength dispersive XRF spectrometry samples are prepared with pressed powder disc. A good correlation of the WDXRF results with the ICPOs and DA measurements indicate that the improved calibration system supports the accurate quantification of both low Z and high Z elements. This results in optimization of sample preparation by ensuring surface flatness and homogeneous element distribution for better XRF detection. For WDXRF analysis, the FP and calibration curve methods for quantification were compared. The detection of RPA6 by WDXRF calibration curve method was compared with ICPOES and EA. The repeatability of the WDXRF method for the sample preparation process and quantification was tested. Wavelength Length dispersive spectroscopy is the more suitable method for powder samples. EDS has high background levels and poor energy resolution leading to weaker detection limits. And unable to differentiate elements with peaks at identical energies. WDS has higher energy resolution, cleaner background levels and is far more sensitive to atoms with low atomic numbers for better detection of elements than EDS.